All right. Um, I'm Mitchell Spear, and I'm a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering here at UCLA. And today I'm excited to share with you my vision uh, for the future of engineering education. And I'm going to do that with a program we call Launch. So I wanted to start and explain this program by showing an image you're all familiar with, the classroom. So with a decent textbook and a you know, reasonably engaging instructor, we've been able to prepare you know, millions of students for their career in this type of educational setting. But in some professions, in some uh, industries, such as medicine, this type of education alone is not sufficient. Professional practice under supervision um, of uh, instructors in a university setting is essential for training. But this is not commonplace today in engineering. Um, I was going to share a quick story about my, my own experience. When I first came out of undergrad, I, I wanted to go into industry and work on rockets. I had a passion and I had a lot of uh, fundamental engineering knowledge, but I lacked a few key elements in my education. One was, how do all these uh, subjects that I learned in different classes interact with each other in the context of a machine or a device and a system? And also, how do you go through a process, the engineering process, from an idea um, and a design to, a, to realize an actual product? These are not things that you learn by solving problems in the back of your textbook. So students encouraged by industry have uh, sought out in engineering to engage in sort of practicing uh, engineering on campus. And they do that in the form of student engineering clubs. These are organized and led by students and provide a great supplement to the classroom training that they get. Unfortunately, uh, the lack of formal structure, uh, organizational leadership, and coordination with the classroom leads to a suboptimal educational experience in these types of uh, clubs. Um, and they are largely detached from what's going on in the classroom. So the launch program is designed to harness the energy and enthusiasm that students have for working on projects and do that within a formalized structure um, to provide a four-year project-based co-curriculum that will parallel and complement classroom training. By adding oversight and um, process control, students will be able to take on much more challenging and complex uh, projects that have industry relevance, where industry is not just interested in these projects for workforce development, but also because of the technology that the students are able to work on that are relevant to what's happening today in industry. So I often um, have you know, thought of the analogy of this type of program to collegiate athletics, where there's a few experienced coaches uh, um, including faculty that oversee a very large number of students who are competing in projects against other universities. This program will be university hosted, but supported and uh, sponsored by uh, industry. Here I show a few images of some of the students that took on such a project last year in uh, designing, building, and ultimately testing and launching a complex liquid bipropellant rocket for the first time that we've done it at UCLA with a lot of industry uh, consulting and uh, uh, oversight within the university. I'll come back to this uh, as we go. So I mentioned this program will complement the existing classroom curriculum, which I show here for engineering, where you go through the math and the hard sciences and then progress through levels of engineering and ultimately end up with capstone courses. Well, the launch project curriculum would have each year um, students building uh, a launch vehicle. Uh, so this is focused on aerospace engineers. And uh, they'll will, they will learn each year different engineering skills uh, and gain intuition in certain areas that will help them uh, progress as they move through the classroom curriculum. So this would include the engineering process and safety best practices, uh, manufacturing and testing, uh, design and analysis. And lastly, the thing that I think a lot of engineers tend to lack are the social skills, such as leadership, uh, as well as teamwork and things like that that are required when you go out in industry and work on something as a team. Uh, senior students who progress through this program will also be given research opportunities to be able to uh, build a better connection between this program and the university's uh, research mission, as well as connect more so to the technologies of tomorrow in industry. I would argue that there's no better time than now, and there's been no more appropriate time in the past than now, to uh, take on uh, such an endeavor as this. The revolutions in software and manufacturing that have happened um, shrink the barriers between a student's creativity and the ultimate products that they can produce, uh, even within a short time scale of an, uh, an academic year. This has been enhanced by decreased size and cost of electronics that comprise payloads and satellites that lead to smaller rockets that put them uh, into space. We're uniquely positioned geographically at UCLA 
to uh, launch a program such as this, where we're at the heart of the largest concentration of domestic aerospace in the United States. We have established relationships with NASA, the Air Force, and local industry uh, stalwarts. I also see this program as an opportunity to connect with the growing aerospace startup community that's been burgeoning in the last uh, several years in Southern California. We have unique access to test and launch facilities in the Mojave Desert, unlike any other place uh, really in the world. Here, these images are from uh, the launch and testing of the rocket that I mentioned earlier that our students have worked on uh, last year. And here's a picture of the students holding it. So, um, if you talk to any of these students, and we have a couple of them here today, they'll tell you the same thing, that this, going through uh, a, a sort of guided, um, you know, much more complex type of project as this, um, has been very valuable for their preparation uh, to work in whether they're going to graduate school or into industry. But ultimately, it's industry that's the one that, hung, that, that hungers for these types of students. They want students that have practice actually being engineers, that understand what it takes to go through the engineering process and how to contribute together as a team. And this is evidenced by the, the hiring of these students, which has all happened in the past year. I want to mention anecdotally, we don't have a lot of good statistics on this, but in the past few years, every, every student who goes through aerospace engineering at UCLA pretty much applies to SpaceX. And in the past three or four years, we, we didn't really have uh, any hire, actually. And in this past year, we had five from this one team. So that's a bit of, a, of an anecdote. So what do we need to, uh, to build this program up and, uh, and, and expand it into what I think it ultimately can be? So there will, it will require some curriculum adjustments and integration. Uh, we also need to build out our strategic uh, industry partnerships and uh, raise some funds to be able to support staff and uh, student fellowships. Lastly, I want to say this, isn't, this program is not simply about um, better preparing uh, students who go through our engineering program for industry, help them get better jobs. I see this as an opportunity to be able to encourage more top students coming out of high school to actually pursue engineering. It's a desperate need that we have uh, in our country and around, around the world. And also to be able to retain students, particularly those traditionally underrepresented in STEM fields, to stay in the field, okay, when you go through that first year or two of hard math and science. Being able, being able to participate in a, in a program like this, which is a paradigm shift in education and engineering, to be able to prepare students to be more nimble and, and dynamic as a industry, it's similarly more important.